So hey there everybody and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier, I'm the channel host. And normally here we're talking about drones, drone imaging, 360s, photography. Uh, in 2021, we're growing the channel beyond just drone work. So I was setting up this morning to start putting together a new class on using Theasis for 360 virtual tours, whether they're terrestrial tours or they're aerial tours with our drones. So I'd started refreshing myself on Theasis because this was one of the um, 360 web hosts that I was very interested in last year. So we did a lot of testing of a lot of different um, 360 hosting platforms. And Theasis came up as one of my favorites but as I started just going through things, prep work for doing a longer class on my Teachable site, I decided that we're not gonna do a full class on Theasis at the moment. And I'm going to tell you why shortly, but I do wanna show you through a little bit of Theasis. So when you sign up for a free account with them, um, you're only allowed to upload five images. So I took five images from a 360 tour that I did a few weeks ago of a house in Prescott Valley, and I took some of the images from that one to put into Theasis so that I have something to compare to. So I've already created a full length course on using Kula um, to do 360s, and that's actually the platform that I settled on last year. And I remembered that there was a couple of issues between Kula and Theasis, and I wanted to talk about that here because this is still a really interesting platform for doing 360s. One of the things that I liked about Kula, or excuse me, that I like about Theasis more than Kula are the uh, just bundle of tools that are offered. So when you upload your images and you go into the tour editor, over on the right hand side, I wanted you to check out um, some of the tools we have here. So we have main tools. So we've got project properties, panorama properties, hotspots, uh, maps, floor plans, and help. And then underneath each of these, so when we go to that info one, if I go up here, we can add a title to the uh, panorama and, you know, uh, actually a title to the tour itself. And then we can also add titles to the individual images. So I'm going to close that one. We're going to go to panorama movements. So I do feel that the uh, panorama, panorama movements um, in Theasis are a little better than some of the other ones I tested, especially since we can go between soft and hard, uh, how smooth our movements are gonna be, and interaction directions as well. I'm gonna close that one. And then we also have panorama backwards auto linking. So if I make a link here into this hallway, the hallway image is automatically going to link back to this living room. And this one works pretty nicely. Kula also offers that as well, as do others. But I'm going to go ahead and close that one. Tour background sound, so we could put an audio file into the tour, or we could put a voiceover into the tour if we wanted to. Geolocalization, if we wanted to put our uh, GPS location, then notes. And that's just the first panel. Then we get down to panorama, panorama properties. And here we can retitle each individual one, one at a time. Um, we can reset our thumbnails. We can upload a custom share image that doesn't have to be this image, replace the current pano. That's pretty amazing. I'm going to close that general down. Once again, geolocalization for each individual image, if you want to. And a panorama background sound, so we can actually have a background sound for each scene, so that's pretty good. But that's comparable to other platforms out there as well. Projection behavior is one of the things that really impressed me. You can do some corrections in Kula and other ones, but they really did offer a lot more here um, to change your projection. So when I point at the vertical, you can actually see the grid here. So if you do need to adjust things, you can. Um, also level so we can go with the X, Y, and Z. And we can also customize our pitch on how far up we can look or how far down. And we can adjust that on the downside and on the upside 
and um, so we can really guide people to what we want them to see. So this pitch mode is definitely better than cool is for sure. And then finally we have an enhance which kind of interested me. But so when I put together 360 virtual tour images that I've shot, um, I'm normally editing them in Lightroom and then most likely I'm editing, editing them also in Photoshop or Affinity Photo. So I'm getting all my colors and everything set up the way I want them um, well beforehand, okay? Uh, but in, under this Enhance, take a look at this for a moment here and let's just see. So when we go to the Image Enhance, we can tweak the white balance, color temperature here. Um, we can do color correction. Uh, so for red, green, and blue, we can change the exposure brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, vibrance. So we can really go to town in here. The thing is, I've already edited my photos. So, oh, there we go. I'm gonna just turn myself back to here. So I've already done my photo editing previously. So having one more photo editor again in here doesn't have much value to me, but what we're gonna see momentarily is the fact that maybe it does have value and uh, so let's just quickly go through these other ones because I don't want to just say, hey, I don't like this one. I, I want you to see why. And there are a lot of things that I do like about this one. So hotspot properties. The next thing we can do is we can actually select icons or arrows. And what's interesting here is how much the folks at Theasis give us. So font icons, let's go over to emoji and let's just type SMI. And so we've got some smiley icons and we can do some arrows and we can do an ambulance. And I don't know why an ambulance is associated with a cheeseburger, but there you go, it is. Um, so one of the things that I've really liked about Theasis during all of my testing previously and my recent testing again, is that they do give us a lot of tools. And so we haven't added any hotspots yet but we can, you know, with our emojis or whatever, we can choose our hotspots and start laying out our tour. I'm gonna go ahead and close that one up on the hotspots and also on the objects. And so we can also do a map. So if we do have geolocalization information in our images, we are going to get to map that out. We can also upload a floor plan. Uh, for a house, so if we wanted to show the overall floor plan and be able to click through rooms that way, we can. So there, you know, right there, we've got a lot of tools here, and we're not even at the end of the tools. I'm going to hit Customize and Preview as well. And under the Customize and Preview, down here at the bottom, we have a whole other set of customizations. So on the left-hand side, there's our image again, but we're no longer in the Image Editor we're in the customization editor. We have panorama, panorama options. I can't say panorama today, sorry about that. Uh, we've got panorama options, we've got floating arrow navigation, autoplay, we've got a lot of tools in our customization here as well. And that's something that was very appealing to me during my initial testing of Theasis. But we need to go back and take a look. We're gonna go back to the editor. So I'm, like I said, I'm not going through all of these. Uh, I'm gonna leave that to you to do a little more investigation for yourself if you want to. So we're back in the image editor here in Theasis, and we're now going to show why I'm not gonna do a full length course on this one and go through all the buttons. And it's pretty simple. I've got a tab up here from Kula from the same tour, and I'm gonna click on that tab and what just happened? Did you see that? Did you see the change in color quality? And also the overall change in the quality of the 360 image. Let's go back to Theasis. And so I'm just looking at this and we're trying to keep this you know, together as much as possible. Look at the colors on the wall. Look at the floor tiles. And now let's go back over to Kula there is a huge difference in the color quality here. So as we noted in the Theasis editor, we can go in and tweak the colors, and I think I know why. The image, the images that we're looking at here are the same exact JPEGs that I output from Lightroom. Uh, so I used this, these images uploaded to Kula 
for my cooler cooler class over on Teachable. And we can see that there's more punch to the color here and it looks crisper. It also, um, the when we zoom in, it is more quality. So we're, we're just looking at these outlets here. I can really make out that outlet very well. If I do that zoom in here, we see a lot of noise. We see a lot of additional noise and pixel, pixelization here that is not as pronounced on Kula. So as I started refreshing myself on Theasis yesterday, I remembered exactly why I decided not to use Theasis. Now, we can't let one image make all of our decisions for us. So I'm going over to our second image. So we're in Theasis here. I'm zooming that out a little bit. And like I said, I was only allowed to upload five in images to Theasis. So for their test account, you can only do five images. But so I did, in fact, utilize the same images that I was using on Kula. So I'm just going to zoom Kula out a little bit. I want you to pay attention to the wall colors and the windows and especially the cabinets. And let's take a look now. This is much flatter. It feels like we desaturated this a little bit and that maybe we even dropped exposure and we didn't. This is the same exact file uploaded to Kula. So there's no difference. I didn't swap things up. We're not doing anything tricky here. Um, when we're looking at this one, this is R0020348 HDR edit. And when we go and we look at this one as well, oh, it does. I actually relabeled everything in here, so it doesn't have that label anymore. But they are the same image. And the color quality is astounding. And also on the edges, while, while we do expect some noise and some pixelization on the edges, um, this is definitely a noisier image overall than the Kula image. So the color quality is astounding, the changes. So let's just take a look at the next couple as well, just so that we can uh, really compare apples to apples. So we're in Theasis right now. I'm going to go over to Kula and we're going to pick out, there it is, it's that kitchen and dining room. So let me rotate. So we're looking in Kula right now. Pay attention to the colors and the quality here. And now let's go to Theasis and yep, this is much flatter. The colors aren't popping. You can really see the difference in the tile colors and the wall colors. And let's just whip things around here into the kitchen area because that's one of the really compelling shots here. And now let's use Theasis. And once again, the cabinets, the color quality of the floor tiles, um, it's very pronounced. It's, uh, you know, you can't miss this. By the way, we're using a uh, BenQ monitor here and we're operating on a Mac Mini M1. And so the same files are used and the quality differences are really apparent. So now I'm going to go to the master bedroom uh, and the laundry room and I need to find that one on Kula as well. So there we go. So I'm taking a look at the Kula area and let's go back to Theasis and turn ourselves so that we're looking at the same thing. Once again, apples to apples. So this is Theasis and it's still okay. It's passable, but it's when I compare it to other 360 platforms that you can really be shocked by the differences. So here's Kula checking out the color quality in Kula and checking out that same color quality in this room in Theasis. Um, the comparison you know, I can't even make a comparison. It, it looks like I've done two different images. Finally, we're going to go into the master bathroom here. And this is Theasis that we're looking at at the moment. And now we're going to go over to Kula and find that master bath image as well. And so we're going to turn ourselves around here and just take a look at the overall color quality. Pay attention to the cabinets and drawers here uh, on Kula. And now let's take a look at Theasis. And yes, once again, I'm going to zoom Kula out just a little bit so that we really are looking at the same thing. The color quality is so pronounced, the change in the color quality. And, you know, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it firsthand because we've used the same exact files. We've uploaded the same files to both 360 platforms. And how does the color quality get changed in an upload to a viewing platform. I'm not understanding this at all. So Theasis and once again, Kula. 
So in the end, you know, when we were making our decisions last year about what to purchase for a 360 platform, Theasis was in the running because of all those additional, you know, they've got a lot of additional tools that aren't in Kula, aren't in Cloud Pano, aren't in other 360 viewers. But in the end, it comes down to the quality of what I'm presenting between the additional background noise added throughout these images and the change in color quality. You know, I do my edits and I expect that viewers are seeing what I saw when I did my edits before upload. And in the case here, apparently I've got to go and do some more editing and theasis. Not, not okay by me. I'm going to hit the close window on Kula for a second because I do want to look at one more thing with you while we're here. And that one more thing, let's refresh Kula here. There we go. So I'm just going to Kula's main. Why does it have me in my profile? My apologies here. I thought I had signed out, but I guess I didn't. There we go. So now I've signed out of Kula and I want to show you one last thing. So Kula is $12 a month um, if you're paying them yearly. So that's $144 a year. And let's go ahead and log out of Theasis, shall we? So I want to, actually, we can just go to the pricing right there. So Theasis is $20 a month, so $240 a year. Once again, they've got a lot of great features, but I don't like the image quality. So Theasis is looking for $244 a year for lower quality images in our presentation, from my perspective. And Kula is charging 12 bucks a month or $144 a year uh, for much higher, uh, a much higher viewing experience. So with all of that said, so you've gotten an overall overview of Theasis and it is an impressive 360 platform, especially with the tools they give us. But if the images aren't displaying as they display on our screen and on other tours, that's, that's just not a great place to be, unfortunately. So with that in mind, there's going to be no full length cool or uh, full length Theasis class over on the AZ drone teachable site. Um, but we will still be going through other 360 presentation packages out there. And for the ones that do have enough value and, um, create really compelling 360s, we'll go through and we'll do longer classes on those on the Teachable platform. So hey, this was a quick one on YouTube, and I think you get the idea pretty quickly. That color quality killed it for me. And it's a shame because all of those other Theasis features really make me want to pull the trigger on it and utilize it as well for some of our 360 tours. But it's just not going to happen anytime in the near future until that color quality is addressed. Color quality should not change in an upload to a website. It just shouldn't. All right, everyone, I hope that this was helpful and useful for you and that you learned something. And if you did, go be sure and go down below, hit like and subscribe. And also, if you're interested in any of our drone classes or our 360 tutorial classes, please feel free to click the link to our AZ Drone Teachable down below as well. And purchasing classes from us also does help support the channel and keep content like this coming to you on a regular basis. All right, we'll see you in the next upcoming live stream uh, this upcoming Monday in February of 2021.